Well, hey there, it is Cecilia Morris, your engineer by education and home business owner by desire. And today, I don't have as much enthusiasm as I usually do because um, I have something really heavy to share with you today. If you read my post, you saw I was calling for my, uh, my saints, my prayer warriors, my believers in Christ, and I know you all came together, and I know you were all pulling for me, and things did not go how I wanted. But God had already prepared me for that moment because of today's Daily Bread. I don't know if you guys are subscribed to the Daily Bread or read the Daily Bread, but I do, and today's scripture came from Genesis chapter 45, verses 1 through 8. Now, let's be clear. I am not super religious, but I am very spiritual. I believe we're God. I know that my sins were saved, my sins were forgiven given when I believe that Jesus Christ came down and died on the cross and that's what it is and if you have a problem with that stop watching this video so today I'm going to talk to you about dealing with delays so before I get into that once again I am Cecilia Morris yes I'm an engineer but I'm also a home business owner and I've been in this arena for over 15 years and August 2016 is where I changed and shifted my whole mindset and started using the internet and social media to build my brand and business all online and I've done so very successfully so let's talk about today, dealing with delays. That came from today's Daily Bread, Genesis chapter 45, verses 1 through 8. I am 14 days since my mother has passed away, and I have yet to get her from the morgue. And I just knew today was going to be the day that I would at least see some forward progress. But I didn't. But God prepared me because of reading his word this morning. Genesis chapter 45, verses 1 through 8, dealing with delays. Joseph was sold into slavery by his brother, and then he was imprisoned because of a lie. But in the end, he became second in command to Pharaoh, and he was able to save his whole family when famine came across the land. So then I thought how I can relate this to my life. I am still unable to bury my mother. The next step is to go to court. And it's crazy because we have already prepaid for the arrangements. We did that in 2015. But unfortunately, there is a family member who will not abide to her arrangement. So there is another delay. So I could be mad, I could be angry, I could lash out, I could turn into myself, I could curl up in a ball and die, and I could say, ah, I'm not doing anything. But unfortunately, that's not how life works. The world keeps spinning on its axis and life goes on. So then I thought about the conversation that I had with a new client. Hi there, Elijah. How are you? Thank you all the way from Africa. Oh my gosh. I so appreciate when you jump on live. So I thought about the conversation that I had with my client today on the way to, or not today, but I had with a client at another occasion when I was in transit from one thing to another. And one of the things they were complaining about is how nothing was happening in their business. And um, what I learned from Genesis chapter 45, um, I'm sorry, Genesis 45 chapter 1 verse, oh, I got my chapters and everything wrong. It's in the daily bread for... Thursday, July 18th. Like I said, I'm all discombobulated right now, but um, I believe it's Genesis chapter 40, Genesis chapter 45, verses 1 through 8. Genesis chapter 45, verses 1 through 8. It talks about Joseph um, being sold, meeting his brothers after they hadn't seen him because famine had came across the land, and they didn't even know who he was, but he knew who they were. Now, this has nothing to do with my sibling by any way, shape, or form and the fact that we are unable to bury my mother. But what it does have to do with is the fact that delays are inevitable. So when I was talking to my client this time, I thought about it today and how they were just complaining how nothing was happening in their business. They're sending out emails. They're buying leads. They're doing solo ads. They're writing or they're buying Facebook ads, but nothing is happening. And I thought about some training that I got that talked about the popcorn effect. Now, this is a microwave popcorn. This is old school popcorn. You know, the old school popcorn where you put the oil in and then you add the kernels and it heats up and then it bubbles over. Or maybe you remember the Jiffy Pop. I know I'm dating myself. Where it already came in a little pan and you put it on the stove and kind of stirred it around a little bit and then it became this big mountain and the kids were like, like me at the time. It was like, woo! Um, but the popcorn effect is where you are just boiling the oil. 
laying those seeds, putting that oil down where you are giving people value, giving them information. You never know anybody's situation or circumstances, but as long as you are putting that oil down and you are lighting that fire and you don't put it on high, you just put it high enough. You know, when you do the Jiffy Pop, if you made it too high, you burnt it up. And when you do real popcorn in the kettle, you can't turn the oil too high. It has to heat up in its own time. And that's how you need to think of your prospects. So the delays in your life, whatever they are, as I learned from Genesis chapter 45, verse 1 through 8, that I didn't know I was going to learn this evening are you need to have patience, you need to be persistent, and you need to have peace. And I am at peace with this situation with my mother because I know that her spirit left her body the day that the last breath left her. But I'm not at peace with her not being in her final resting place. But that's just a delay. That's it. It's just a delay. She'll get there. And it's the same thing with your business. The people will come. You know, it's like fields of dreams. If you build it, they will come. But you have to have patience. You have to be persistent. And you have to have peace in knowing that you are doing all those positive things for your business to build your business. All those seeds that you sow, they will at some point yield fruit. But it's not in your fruit. It is in the due time of the person that needs the message, the product, the service, or opportunity that you have to offer and I agree Elijah patience is the key and that's the hardest thing of all I just knew today I was going to get closure and I would be able to call the corner and we would move forward to the funeral home and I could start planning the arrangements in the next couple of days but mm -mm, not so much and just as in your business. You just know when you're talking to somebody, they seem really interested, they're going to call, they're ready to go, and you just know the next sentence you say, they're going to be ready to pull out their credit card, but instead they say, um, let me think about it, and now you're deflated. But do not be deflated. Persist and move on. There's somebody else. No is not always no. It's all, sometimes not right now. I just had a lady who recently joined my team and um, she signed up for one of my $297 products and she um, joined in my email list like over a year ago. Seriously. So you never know when people's time is. So that's why you just have to be persistent. And then you need to be at peace. And I'm going to say this and end this video for today because I'm just so frustrated, but I wanted to be here for you and provide value. The peace in knowing that you are working towards something greater than yourself. If you believe in what it is that you are doing in your business, in your efforts, then it will manifest itself. But at the end of the day, as I am learning more and more in this situation, everything happens in God's time, not your time. Joseph, once again, was sold into slavery by his brothers. He was in prison because of a lie and over a Pharaoh's dream, he became sick second in command and then he was able to save his family when famine came across the land what would have happened if joseph wasn't patient if he wasn't persistent and if he wasn't at peace we might be telling a different story because it's due to joseph that we have moses and moses saved the people of egypt and that's how i'm going to end this there's only one thing i want to say please um, register for the master class that we are having today at 9 p.m. The link will be in the comments. If you are struggling because of tech overwhelm, confusion, or stress and trying to build your online business, my friend and mentor Misha Wilson is holding his master class. Well, he will tell us exactly what he did to build a $1.5 million a month business. If I had one tenth of 1% of that, I would be happy as a clam. So make sure you click the link to register. There will be no other link attached to this video. But this this video is probably one of the most powerful ones I've ever done. And if nothing else, read Genesis chapter 45. I'm sorry. Yeah. Genesis chapter 45 verses 1 through 8. I am Cecilia Morris, your engineer by education and your home business owner by desire. Thank you and God bless.